Hi there, and I wanted to welcome you personally into September and um, maybe offer a little bit of um, recommendation, advice, inspiration for uh, the rest of the year. I feel like September is always the time to um, look at our maybe goals and um, everything we wish for for to uh, for this year and reflect on this and then um, maybe make a plan as well. Now, I always look at the goals and everything I have achieved so far with curiosity and never judgment because I don't want to be under the pressure to achieve certain things. However, I know that if I have a little bit of pressure, um, a little bit of a good planning somewhere, then it's it's more likely it's going to happen. The thing is, we are creator, cre, um, creators of our own life, I would say, but always also master procrastinators, right? So we love procrastinating and we could do all sorts of different stuff, but not necessarily something that um, that really contributes to what we desire, right? And I had an interesting conversation with a few ladies. We did a vision board at the beginning of this year. And quite often we think like, well, by looking at certain things, um, like you have the vision board, so you do a bit of a, uh, things and you put it on the vision board, you can cut out, uh, you put some goals in it. And usually it's a visual representation of what you desire for yourself in a given year or generally timeline. The vision board has helped me immensely to get focused. And I was talking to the ladies, we did it at the beginning of this year, it helped them as well. And it's not about like a tick in a box exercise. I think the vision board is a kind of visualization of your own expectations of how do you want to feel and certain things you want to achieve for sure, because it gives you focus, yeah? It gives you the way to uh, channel your energy into those things you desire most. And for me, it always has been health. Um, I wanted to do some home thing, but also life threw in some unexpected things. Like I have to care for my elderly dad now because he's unwell. That is not on my vision board. But one thing I said, this is how I want to feel. I want to feel good and I want to process my emotions and I don't want to be stressed about the life events I have no control over. And that was my main thing on the vision board, no matter what happens in my life. And it helped me immensely. Of course, it's a very challenging and difficult situation, but it also helped me to stay calm, composed, ask for help so that uh, I'm not totally overwhelmed by the whole thing. So that one thing, the vision board, and I feel like September is also the time to reflect on what is on the vision board and maybe make a few adjustments and see whether I'm still on track, um, whether I'm there where I should be and see how I can progress further or, or change further my my goals, my desires, whether they are still the same and how I want to feel. So for the rest of my year, I definitely put emphasis on my health. I manage my emotions. Um, I manage my stress level. It's the health, the family balance, and also development into my business. So I put that into uh, kind of more uh, concrete uh, and better goals for the rest of the year. Because if I don't, it's not going to happen. I'm a creature of... Uh, wanting to have a plan, wanting to have certain steps. I just need to have manage my energy along the process because if I don't, then I really very easy for me is to go off track. And the, the, the other thing I wanted to say, September for many parents is the time when children go back to work, um, to school, sorry. So with the school children, we feel like we have another um we have another thing to manage, right? So school runs and all of that. So it's something that um, we have another job to do, right? So I want to make sure that my, my girl, my, my daughter is 13 and pretty much I've wanted her to be um, independent right from the very young age, but I had to learn it for myself to let go of certain things so that I don't have to manage her all the time. Of course, when they are little, you need to help them, 
but not that you do everything for them. So at, at the 13, is, she's pretty much independent. She can pack her own bag and if she forgets things, she has to live with it. And, um, and that's it, right? Um, so I think when I coach parents, the main problem people have is that they don't have time for themselves because I have to have school runs, I have to this. And sometimes we don't have, we can't avoid it, right? Driving and all of that. But when we have all the children, can we let go of certain things and allow them to grow and make mistakes? So today the newsletter is about making mistakes. They have to learn. And quite often we are not bringing up a perfect children and perfect human beings they will never be perfect and perfection doesn't exist and perfection kills creativity um, and also doesn't allow us to uh, you know really tune in into our own um, problems I guess and, and finding solutions for the problems and challenges right if I don't get up early I will have to rush and I don't pack everything if I don't pack something in the evening I will have to have everything in the morning I never, I mean, I do set certain boundaries and expectations. I think you ha we have to do it with teenagers, but I don't manage everything for her. And I definitely don't uh, compare her to others. And I, I allow her to make mistakes and I have to let that go because I used to be a perfectionist and I wanted everything to be perfect. I wanted her to take a lot of different classes and do a lot of different things. But in the end of the day, she is now at that age, she needs to choose for herself who she wants to be in this world and how she wants to grow up. And I want her to learn, especially to manage uh, our mental health, but also the time. Um, sorry, not the time, but herself within the time. We cannot manage the time. The time is what it is. 24 hours, um, we sleep eight, sleep eight hours, we have the, le the rest left for ourselves, um, you know, so, so this is a prescribed amount of time. We'll never have more or less unless we learn to manage ourselves within the time we have. And it's the same with our mental health. If we don't do anything to manage our own thoughts, which create our feelings and emotions and then allow, you know, give give us a kind of the background to to take certain actions, then, you know, putting meditation and breathing and everything uh, is like putting a plaster on the wound that doesn't want to heal because we are not healing and we're not addressing the root cause of that while we are stressed. Stress is an automotive, automatic response to a certain life event we don't have control over. So how do we manage the thoughts within the circumstance we find ourselves? So that's what my message is for this September and the rest of the year. Maybe reflect on your goals, on your desires for this year. Uh, some people have bucket list of things they want to do. They want to visit that. They want to go there. Um, they want to have a beautiful a social life. Um, you know, revisit that. Is that still what you desire? Because a lot can change during the year. And also um, see how... How do you want to work on yourself? Do you want to work on yourself? Do you want to manage your emotions? Do you want to create the life you desire? If yes, what do you need? Yeah, Who do you need to be? And if you are looking for a one-on-one -on -one support, I'm here to help you. I have few open spaces in September, only two actually, because I have very busy September. Uh, so I'm only taking two private clients this September and I'm helping them to find more time by managing yourself and managing your um, emotions, uh, your mental health and stress levels. And I put deep, deep focus on health because if we can create good health for ourselves, we can definitely create um, a beautiful life for ourselves in the longer term as well, right? Because if we want to stay healthy and age healthy as well, um, we have to start now, yeah? It's not going to be created later. It has to start now. So have a blessed September. Um, I'm here to support you. If you've never subscribed to my newsletter, please do. I will leave the link below in the show notes. And of course, subscribe to this channel and leave me a review. And I'm happy here to help you. Take care and all the best.